welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you how you can install TS Media on your Enigma 2 device. I'm doing this on the Unibox HD uh, Venton brand from xbmcwizard.co.uk. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how you can install TS Media which is basically less like a substitute stroke fork of, of Kodi um, where you can have a few add-ons or plugins um, that you can enjoy directly on your box. So what you need to do on your remote control is press menu. As you can see there guys at the top I've already got it installed but I'm going to show you where to install it and it literally takes two minutes of your time. So we need to go to plugins okay and then here you just basically see all your plugins you've got installed in your device. We need to hit the green button for download plugins so we'll hit that. This will then now populate all the plugins that are available for Enigma 2 or for your device just to uh, install. Um, there is quite a lot of plugins but we need to go down to extensions and now we need to go and find T which as you can see there guys there's quite a lot of um, plugins. Some of these are really good and some of these are not really worth having at all. Um, my advice would be to, um, if you're looking at some of these and think, oh that looks quite good, just do a bit of research on uh, on the net um, on these plugins before you install it, otherwise it just becomes a pain of you keep installing it and uninstalling it. So, um, but yeah, there's a couple of good ones and a couple of ones and a few ones that are just not really worth it, but each to their own. So when you get down to T, okay, so here's TS Tube. Um, TS Media was sitting uh, next to this. So basically what you do is you just once you've highlighted it, press OK and it will run the process of installing it. Okay, and then it will just take literally two minutes to install. It will say execution finished uh, and then what you need to do is reboot your device. Okay, so basically you just go down to standby, restart and you can just restart the GUI. Um, again, that will just boot your um, device back up and running and then you'll have TS Media. If you do not reboot it, you will not see TS Media um, sat at the top. Okay, you must restart your device. So let's head straight into TS Media. As I explained before, it's a bit like Kodi, and there's a few Kodi add-ons you can actually get on here. So basically, having this installed in your uh, Enigma device becomes um, a device that you can go to do anything on it. You know, so you haven't got to keep swapping between boxes and so forth. Um, here's all your icons you can get. It's quite self-explanatory. So let's go to IPTV for example, and I've been messing about this for um, five, ten minutes, and in here basically are new add-ons that are on TS Media, for example. So these ones have just been added newly, and then if you go to basic add-ons, these are the ones that have been set in stone and are currently on the TS Media, so they've been here a while basically. And all you need to do is go to say, um, say Navix Extreme, select that, press OK, and obviously it says opening because I've already installed it but if you haven't installed it will say installing and then once you go back to this screen you'll see it installed there so it's just basically just a shortcut um, here so we go straight into it and as you as you know this is uh, one of the most popular Kodi add-ons out there and here you can just literally um, yeah just go around and select some media to play it's basically it works the same as NaviX because this is um, yeah, because this is a plugin for Enigma, they run differently, so you may get more errors than you would normally do uh, on uh, a Kodi device. Because obviously this was built for Kodi, but yeah, um, we can just have a little play around and see what's around. Again, I've not I'm not really delved into the um, plugins. But again, um, got something playing here. Doesn't look like it's going to play, so we'll just stop that. But there's quite a few different um, plugins that I've kind of looked. I, I've I spent a few minutes looking around, and um, there's quite a few plugins that are coming uh, onto the scene for Enigma because Cody's got kind of two exposed now, and. Um, it seems to be a lot of people coming over to the Enigma side, um, which is quite exciting. But that obviously doesn't seem to be working that well, or I don't know how to work it. But like I say, guys, I, I'm, I've literally just been on here for like five minutes, just messing about. So I thought I'd just quickly show you guys it working. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, 
you've got your live TV in the background, so you don't actually miss anything um, while you're surfing around. That doesn't really be working properly, but it's a bit of an insight. I know I, I googled a few um, popular add-ons um, to see if there's an Enigma plugin for them, and um, it, they said there was, and you can actually install them um, onto this device via FileZilla, um, which I'll look into a bit more deeper. Um, as time goes by, but um, not really getting much um, playing on uh, on this. I was hoping to show you guys at least something playing, so you guys can see it works all right. But it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. It's for the new add-ons. So what's this? Koli Live TV. Let's install that again. Downloading the strong add-on, please wait. It's again. It takes seconds. And again, once it's installed, um, you'll have this. So let's go to English and let's just go to TV stations in English. No, it was received an error. That's it, yeah. So it, it could be down to a lot of reasons why there could be an error. It could be something to do with my setup, it could be um could be the actual plugin itself. Because like I mentioned before, these run differently to um Cody. Um, but what we'll do is we'll try one more and let's again we'll download that okay so um, let's have a look on here I've never heard of this but not too sure what it's all about let's go to new Fox Sports Online Oh, brilliant. Okay, so as you can see there, guys, it's uh, it's running okay. You can see it's running fine. So I'll leave it there. I've kind of spent a lot of your time watching this, but nothing seems to be working. But I'll, I'll rather show you guys that uh, some things don't work and some things do work. But again, it's work in progress, a lot of this stuff. So um, hopefully we'll see a lot more add-on stroke plugins come to TS Media. Um, so I'll catch you guys in the next video.